Old Battle Axe, Part 2. Hello. Good morning. Hello. What is it now? It's a total nightmare. Remember the flat by the university? That we sold in the fall? Yes. She doesn't like it she anymore. She should sell it. She wants to return it or exchange it. Oh, she's just a loony. So what, and I'm the doctor? Yes. Fine, who's our patient? She happens to be a public prosecutor, albeit a former one, but oh, yeah? still. She... Let's go see the patient. Oh, let's go. I'm not happy with this apartment. Why exactly? First of all, there's a construction across the street, noisy workers all over, and secondly, it's been three months since they promised a new elevator. So what do we have to do with it? What are you talking about? You sold me this apartment, and you did not notify me about the planned construction. You need to give me back my money. All right. We'll sell your apartment as soon as possible. <sighs> Sveta, check the database for people who bid on the apartment. Give it to me. Mm-hmm. Don't you have the money to pay me back? Hold on one second. Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm from Ekaterina. Yes, I have great news for you. Remember you viewed an apartment? Yes, it's available. Yes, uh, no, the price has gone up. 11,000. Well, first of all, inflation. Secondly, there are new elevators. There's a store within walking distance. Yes? <laughs> well, I'm glad. My assistant will be contacting you shortly. Uh, Sveta, please see the lady to the manager who will finalize the transaction. Um, hold on a minute. Why is the price higher? Well, the agency must compensate for the costs of a new deal. <laughs> so you mean you simply make a call like that and put money in your pocket? What do you mean, simply? This is our client base. And naturally, the price for a building with new elevators and a store across the street has increased. How dare you? You decide to cheat me yet again? This is business. You can go to hell with your business. You think you're so clever. I'm not selling you anything. Forget it. Bravo! First class. Listen, so who did you even call from the list? Who did I call? Let me see. I called Galia. No way. Yes. We have a thing that if I call her and start talking nonsense, she should respond in character. Galia? Hello, yes. Thank you very much. Everything's okay. We're going to a reception today. Want to come? All right. Okay, bye. Listen, I forgot to tell you, I can't go with you. I made an appointment with a doctor. But Sveta, please, am I to go alone? I don't like well, that. Well, ask Max, then. Me with a driver. What's wrong with that? A handsome, intelligent man? Even sexy. Max? What? Anya can't stop smiling when she sees him. She says her peers are idiots, but Max is a real man. She bakes for him. And he? He eats? Seriously. Do you really not see he's in love with you? Come on, take your blinders off already. Something on my face? No. Max, why didn't you ever remarry? To be honest, I did. Then got divorced again. Is it true you're having an affair with Anya? Don't make me laugh. She was way too young. Well, is that a problem? Cat, pull yourself together. Fine, forget it. Do you like how Alex dyed my hair? Of course. But frankly, I think you look better as a brunette. Oh, nobody asked you. 
Well, you asked, didn't you? Ah, those boots are to die for. And the scarf suits you so well. You should always wear the shade, okay? Nice to see you, Katrina. Looking great, as always. Good afternoon, Alex. Hello. Well, I must go. Hi. I ordered the hair dye. You're lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I see you changed your mind about leaving. I did indeed. Oh, I ran into her at one party. Turned out she's a sweetheart. Is she? We're best friends now. What did you say before? Service provider? Oh. Well, I'm a very liberal person. In general, at Katrina, democracy is a trend. Look, I have one friend who's dating a driver right a now. A driver? A personal driver. That's like a bodyguard. Like in that movie with Kevin Costner, remember? Not really. Come on. Well, he's with Whitney Houston. I feel sorry for her, poor thing, but he was just so unassuming at first. And then steals the show. And that scene with the veil and a sword, you remember? No. How? Oh, he has a sword, and a scarf like this. Very sensual, huh? Definitely. <laughs> well, what are you doing today, Katrina? Retouching? Or continue experimenting? Hmm? 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 Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so first home, and then I have the banquet. Remember? Yeah, I do. You were coming with? Meaning? Or something nice, all right? Uh... What are you waiting for? Dark so, how much longer do you need? Not sure. The days are flying by. Vika, thank you for helping me. Bye. See you. I am very grateful. <laughs> Judy, come here. Come here. Hello. Galia. Are you I surprised? Am. Well, we decided to meet mm. you. Good evening. Good evening. Well, now I think I should go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Cutie, look at you. Uh, She's working late, too? Yes, she's helped me a lot. How? She's a secretary, right? Well, with old databases and, in general, orders food for me. I should mm -hmm. ask the manager to give her a bonus. She deserves it. A bonus? Yes. Yura, do you really not understand why she stays late at work? She likes you. She's my friend. No, Yura, she's not. I remember very well the way she was looking at you at the party. You shouldn't have invited me to a party of someone you'd been involved with. There's nothing between us. You're a, you are just like a hippo. How so? Because I can eat 100 pounds of grass? No, because you're thick skin. You don't feel a thing. Well, right now, I feel like I could eat a hippo. Has Tanya made something by chance? No, she hasn't. Hmm, to your mom's for some crepes? I actually did cook. Nice suit. Where from? From Italy. Got it when we went to see the villa for our client. Where was I? Buying lingerie. Let's go. Same people, same place. Petrov, Komogorov with a new one. Who else is here? That's Kudipov. He came back last week. He was looking for you. He wants to sell everything. He's moving abroad. You know everything, just like our Anya. That's my job. Hmm. Oh! Ekaterina! Mika! <laughs> so it's so <laughs> to see you. Nice to see How are you. you. Oh, cat. <laughs> I only came here to see you. How are you, my darling? Would you introduce us to your companion? Yes, Max is my colleague. Mika, Lucy? Mm hmm. My pleasure. And mine. Hold on. Have you seen Kuchipov anywhere? I have. He's... Over there. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go talk to him. 
<laughs> I'll get you champagne. Ah, what a man. Oh, come on. Ah, unlike mine. Have you heard? It's out. What is? Well, he got involved with some kid. She sent me pictures with him, this idiot. <laughs> no way. I was ready to file for a divorce, but changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Said he'd never do it again, even cried. <laughs> oh, to hell with him. Did your daughter get married? Uh, yes. Well, tell me everything. Who's the guy? Well, not exactly a prince. Mm, well, it doesn't matter. Are they happy? Ladies. Thank you. Champagne. I'm so glad we moved. More champagne. Okay. Yura. Hmm? Yura, I have something to confess. Okay. Have you prayed tonight, Desdemona? No, this time I'm Othello. Hmm. I'm very jealous of this, Vika. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I see very well how she looks at you. Besides, I'm a woman. I oh, under... Yeah. Listen, for me, there is no other woman but you. They just don't exist. You're the only woman for me. Well, I'm free now. What did you need? You broke the bed, didn't you? <laughs> it's not easy to break. Well, thank you. All right, you can thank me later. So, we'll use some plaster here, okay? It's a beast of a glue. And we'll tighten it with some screws. Then try breaking it for the next ten Bossy, years. Bossy, excuse us, we're kind of... What are you of... waiting for? Come help me! Breaking is not making. <sighs> Come, I'll feed you. Here, hold this. Oh, cat. Where did you even get this man? Nothing like mine. Who is this? Lucy, well, you knew that Mikhail was, well... That he's cheating? Of course I did. But you know, seeing these photos made me feel disgusted. Embarrassed, you know? I know. Lucy, I'm so Don't sorry. Don't worry, Kat. Stop it. Everyone knows now. Hmm. By the way, Kat, I almost forgot. We have American visitors. What? Well, we wanted to show them around. Would you, Gayla, be interested? I'll ask her. Mm -hmm. Yes? Wow. Who is this? Cousin Junior. Oh, my. Oh, what a cutie. Lucy. What? what? <laughs> hey, Katerina. Hello. Long time no see. Good evening, Nikolai. Would you like to have a drink with me? With pleasure. Fantastic. Hello. Goodbye. Tell me, how's your daughter? She got married. Hmm. And what about you? What about me? Well, I'm happy to say I'm a free woman. Nice. I like your style. You know, Ekaterina, you're not like other girls. Silly, shallow girls everywhere. Boring. But you, you're the real thing. It's not that, Nikolai. The girls around you are just too young. <laughs> Will you help me with something? Of course. You can call me any time, day or night. Night. Well, figuratively speaking, night is for sleeping. Of course. But sometimes, you can't sleep, hmm? Ekaterina? Max is my colleague and friend. Ah, nice to meet you. Um, unfortunately, I must go. Ooh, I'm late. Business. Wait. Oh, 
Are you sure? Oh, I'm not sure of anything. So tomorrow we can actually lie down in it? Mm. Yes. Tomorrow we can test its endurance. Really? Mm hmm. And you're saying you help with the whole thing? Well, I have learned secrets. I even know how to use the tools. I'd like to show you. Wow, what else do you know? You shall see. <laughs> Perfect night out. <laughs> Come up. Well, here, your purse. Thank you. You're a bit drunk. Correct answer. It's me. Who else? I'm back from the reception. That you refused to go to. I couldn't. Gaia. I went there with Max. Well, that's great. Max is cool. I like him. Yeah? Gaia. Don't you think he looks like Kevin Costner? Like who? From The Bodyguard. It's a movie. Uh, I haven't seen it. Ugh, this new generation. You must watch it. Then tell me. Okay. Mom? Good night. Sounds like your mom went to physiotherapy again. Hey, stop it. Enough. How is physiotherapy? <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> what about Kevin Costner? I don't know. My mom says Max looks like him. Mmm. Eh. Must be good to have your own business. If you want, you can go with your mom to physiotherapy at night. Then you both can skip work the next day. Actually, she will definitely be going to work and will be fresh as a daisy. Good morning. Good morning. Are you free? Yes, come in. I just got this. The party season has arrived. No, oh, I can't go. You should go. How was last night? All right, as always. Did you go with Max? Uh-huh. Excuse me. Can I ask Max to help me bring the printer back from service? Why don't they have delivery? Well, we said we would pick it up today. Okay. Thank you. Woodpecker, knocking and knocking with her heels. Don't wear heels if you don't know how to. <laughs> she broke two cups yesterday. Forgets to send emails. Should we fire her? Wow. You're jealous of Max, aren't you? Sveta, mind what you say. Max is my driver. So what? More importantly, he's a good person.
Sveta, I know we're friendly, but not to the extent of discussing my personal life. Well, I'm sorry. I just wanted to tell you that you deserve the very best. And so does Max. Yura. Mm hmm? Are you going to stay late again tonight? Look, I'm not sure. My mother-in-law is coming over today. Why? Um, I think my laptop is acting weird again. Oh, Vika. Now is not the best time. Let me have it for the weekend. I'll see what's up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Nah. You're the best. Dirty. Huh? Come here. That's nothing. Don't worry. No, hold on. I'm almost done. Max, what plans do you have this weekend? The usual? Going fishing. Can I come with you? <laughs> Why would you go fishing? Anya, there are so many guys. Grab one and go dancing. But I don't want any other guys, Max. I only want you. Come on. I love you. Oh, dear God. Listen to me. You are great, and you're a beautiful girl. But I never want to hear those words again. Clear? Well, at least try. It would've... Wipe away your tears and pull it together. I know. You love Ekaterina. Except she could care less. She doesn't need anyone. She's evil. Come on. Don't call her that, okay? You don't know anything about her. All right? Here. It'll make you feel better. Close the trunk. Did you get the printer? Of course. Well done. Shall we? Don't. Control yourself. I am your boss. You're my driver. That's it. I think you should go now. Go. Come in. Hello. Hello. Where's Max? Is he in the car? Mom, let him come in. I let Max go. Uh, I see. Come in, come in. Thank you. Come on in. Uh-huh. Come in, come, come, come. Here, this is our room. Well, overall, it's exactly what I imagined. Yeah. And the neighbors? Oh, our neighbors are very nice. Husband and wife, Tanya is a baker, and Vasya is the driver. He fixed our bed. Ah, they call that fixed? Well, it's almost done. Yura will come, put the mattress on it, and... So Yura is still sitting at work, then? 
He has a deadline. Let's go have some tea. Well, there have been changes in the company. You're as responsible. I see. And then they leave their wives for their secretaries. Mom, not everyone is you and Dad. Gal, you listen. Women who sit at home, waiting, are not interesting. Why do you think all affairs happen at work? Yura isn't having an affair. You better tell me about that story with Kevin Costner. Oh, well, it's... your mom was tipsy. <laughs> hey! Hey! That lousy dog bit me! You bastard, get over here! Basia, I'll take cutie. you to the slaughterhouse! Hey, get your hands off her! You go to the slaughterhouse! What are you doing? Who's you this? teased her yourself! Who's Come this? on, let's go, let's go! Let's get out of here! Well, she bit me! Get out of here! She's a bloody beast! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Easy, 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 Yeah. Easy. Great neighbors you have, Galia. Galia. Is this the life you want for yourself? And most importantly, why? Is your Yura really worth it? It's not about Yura. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. What happened? No, nothing happened. What this is, Yura, are tears of sheer happiness and gratitude for the life you're providing for her. Tell me, what happened? Well, cutie bit Valtia, and he's drunk again, so that's what. I'm scared what Got he might you well. do. Okay, come on. Let's move out, then. Guys, I'm going to go home. And he also, won't do anything. Galia, next time he's telling you about deadlines and emergencies at work, why don't you first ask Yura how he got lipstick on him? Right here, and here. Mm-hmm. All the best. Oh, I see. It's no big deal. This is Vika's. Cutie, go for a walk. Vika? God, yeah. She was just grateful. I promised to fix her laptop. <gasps> I'm scared to imagine how she'll thank you when you finally fix it. God, yeah, I told you there's nothing between us a hundred times. God, yeah, wait. Don't touch me. Why am I always apologizing? It's not my fault. Not your fault? Maybe it's my fault that I'm always here alone and you, on top of not standing up to your boss, you have the nerve to come home covered in lipstick. Got you. Well, I, well, I can't do anything. They will fire me. How will we pay the rent? So it's all for the money? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, Yura. If we need money so bad, maybe I'll go on a business trip. And you hustle here. Maybe Vika will help you. What is she... What did you say? A business trip? What do you mean for what? We need money, don't we? Well, we need money so bad, well, I'll go earn as much as you earn in two months. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Do as you wish. Ah, uh, what needs to be done here? Ah, uh, yes, the bed. Please do, but I'll sleep in it alone. And me? I don't know, Yura. On the floor. Notice that every appearance your mother makes somehow ends in a quarrel. No. Okay, not every. But she'll destroy our life in the end.
Hello. First here. Private Investigation Agency, Ostrika Vadim. I got it. Didn't you work with him? Yeah. Why don't you ask why we're going there? What for? It's none of my business. Don't you worry, Katarina. I know my place well. Adim, good morning. You should have been notified about my visit. I'm Ekaterina. Yes. Take a seat, please. Thank you. Well, what brings you to me? I'm here because I want you to arrange surveillance over someone. I want to confirm that he's cheating on his wife. Is your goal a divorce? Well, of course, if the affair is confirmed. Prenuptial agreement? No. Is there any indirect evidence? Working late, traces of lipstick. Well, all that can be quite innocent. Maybe or maybe not. Listen, Ekaterina, to guarantee a divorce, the situation can be simulated. Have a look. What's this? Well, this will speed up the result, and the quality of video will be higher. That's unnecessary. I see. Well, in that case, I need all the names, addresses, and a deposit for this amount. In cash, please. It's a deal. And please say hello to Max for me. As I understand, he still works with you. Yes. Why did he quit his job? You were partners, weren't you? Well, not everyone stays in this profession. It has its quirks, you know. So working overtime, second week in a row, that's normal? I told everyone this morning that I can't stay late. Because of the dog? Yes, because of the dog. Well, I can walk your dog for you. Hmm? You'll get fired if you leave. Then let them fire me. I'll find another job. That's not how it's done. Yura, first you find another job, and then you quit and walk out. How can I do that if I'm constantly here? Yura, just be patient. You're very close to being finished here. Trust me, I'll be happy to walk your dog for you. I love dogs. All right, solve then. Give me your keys. I'm Vika. Yura asked if I could help walk his dog. He's working late today. Ah. So why haven't you walked it then? She's whining and hungry. Yes. Can you please watch the pasta? Here it is. Mm -hmm. I'll be quick, okay? Cutie, let's go. 
The wife just left and the assistant is already here. Where do they make these dolled up girls? Ooh. Well, why not help? We'll do what we can. Hmm. <laughs> Cutie, you shaggy face, miss me? Come here. Oh, oh, you cutie. Vika, I don't even know how to thank you. We finished everything and decided to meet you. Did you? Right, cutie? Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, it's so late already. Here. It's no problem. How about we go back to your place? Hold on. Thank you so much for everything, but you should go home. Well, okay then. Cutie, come here, come here. There's pasta in the pot and... You shouldn't have, Vika, I mean it, but thank you for everything. Laptop, we'll definitely get a check out this weekend, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks. Cutie, come on, come on. Let's go, cutie, come on. Is something burning in here? Ah! You're back! Yura, who'd you let into the house? She nearly burned us down! Really? She put the pot on, turned on the cooker, and she ran away! I barely aired it out. That's okay. Tanya made some delicious porch. What do you say? <laughs> and champagne? Ha <laughs> ha! Huh? <laughs> she left it here. Let's go. All right. Where to? Wait, let me calm down. Here, take a look. What's this? Look, look! Well? Look, exactly as I thought. This is why you hide, Vadim? So you're still interested after all, hmm? Cat. What are you doing? They are children. You ruin their lives. You got involved with Vadim. Well, what do you see on these photos? Why the sudden outrage? Why are you defending him? Male solidarity, is it? You know why? Because you're a dog. Got involved with a young girl. She could be your daughter. You're a fool, cat. I'm a fool? Get out! Fired! Hey, lady! What's going on? What are you doing? What the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> Such a fool! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. It's just a bumper. It's no big deal. It's all good. So you got, like, insurance? Got it. No insurance. When are you coming? I'll never let you leave again. Well, I miss you. Gaia, let's not fight again, okay? 
your puppy as well. Yesterday, she ate Vasha's shoes. <laughs> Got you. Okay, bye. Because your puppy is now eating something from the ground. Oh, Gaia, come on. Enough. All right? Yes, Gaia. Okay. I'll call you later. Cutie, come here. No, no. Leave it. Come to me. What's wrong with you? Why is it always so busy? Hello. Is this the vet? Hello. My dog ate something outside. Yes, her nose is hot. Do you make home visits? <sighs> yes, thank you. Well? No, how is she? worse. I must take her to the vet clinic. I'll call the taxi. Why call it? Vasya's home. Vasya! Uh. No, huh? Get dressed. E. Katarina. Hello. Good afternoon. You can stop waiting. Max is fired. So feed your pastries to somebody else. I need coffee and Sveta. Fast. But Sveta is... <gasps> Why? Why did I let her off the leash? Well, you can't keep her tied up her whole life. That's good. You should train her. Oh my god. Galia's arriving soon. I promise to meet her. Well? If you waited two more hours, she would have been gone. I would kill these dog hunters with my own two hands. Thank god. Where is she? Hooked up to an IV. You can pick her up in two hours. But keep her paw bandaged, because if you don't, it could bleed. Mm -hmm. Or you can leave her here for the night, but that's an extra fee. No, I'll wait. As you wish. Come on in. Well, I'll go then. I've been driving since last night. Can Golia get home on her own? I'll sort it out. If it wasn't for you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, neighbor. We'll celebrate later. Yes. Adieu, as they say. <laughs> So what happened? I was halfway home when Anya called me. Where have you been? I have an appointment. I left early. I'm not interested in your doctors. Who let you go? What's going on? Where's my car insurance? Well, how do I know? Ask Max. He's fired. You know you're acting crazy. Sveta, watch your mouth. I'll fire you all, parasites. Who let you go? You left. Didn't tell anyone. Big mistake. Forget about commission on the Italian deal. What? You heard me. Yes? Ekaterina, good afternoon. Uh, Yura, hello. Ekaterina, you know, Galia will be here soon. Could you meet her? Something came up here and... And basically, I'm not gonna make it. Something came up. I see. Of course, I'll get her. Thank you. Happy to help. Bye-bye. Nice to meet nice you. Bye-bye. Thank you so nice much, guys. Bye-bye. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mom. Hello? Hello. Where's Yura? Your husband is very busy. Did something happen? Give me the suitcase. And where's Max? Fired. Why? Mom, why is Max fired? What happened? Galia, you shouldn't worry about it. Why shouldn't I worry about it? Max is no stranger to me. Galia, you should think about something else. What should I think about? Oh, Galia.
about this here. What's this? You'll see. What is this? That's how your husband spends his time. In your absence, or rather, who he's spending it with. Galia. He's cheating on you. Mom. Go. Mom. Come on, sweetheart, stop it. Come on now, this man is not worth your tears, Galia. Ah, uh, see, cutie? We came home before your mother. No answer. Her phone must be dead. Let's call Katvis. Yura, you don't need to call Katvis. Ekaterina. Hello. You're here. We're here. Where's Galia? Galia? At home. At her home. I've come over here to get Galia's things and tell you not to try seeing her or contacting her. She'll be changing her phone number. And if I find out that you're trying to see her, I will personally call the police. I don't understand. Understand this. This. What's this? How? I have my ways. Did you have me followed? And this? Is this Gaia's? Yes, I think it is. Listen, I can explain everything. Everything is absolutely clear. What's clear? This is complete nonsense. It's a simulation. What can't you see? She's walking the dog. I don't care what she's doing. Okay, then. If I forgot anything, just send me a text. I'll come get it. Don't you dare try to see Galia. Where are you taking the dog? I just brought her back from the vet. She ate poison. So you also managed to nearly kill our dog? Perfect. I'll definitely inform Galia. <laughs> Galia, well, eat something. I cannot. Well, all right. It's okay. Dr. Zoya will come soon. She'll help us. Yeah? Does it hurt that bad? Just a little. What's going on lately? This is too much. I can't get a hold of Sveta. Sveta. Mom, is something wrong? No, 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 it's all good. Dr. Zoya is here. One moment. Good afternoon, Zoya. Come on in. <laughs> Good afternoon, Kat. Well, what happened around here? Oh, Zoya, dear, it's a disaster. Galia and her husband split up. Already? Well, that scumbag cheated on her. She cried all night. Well, now she has a stomach ache. Well, it's not surprising in these circumstances. Maybe we should send her somewhere. Well, for like two weeks, but someplace quiet, no internet, no phone. Hmm? Well, let's go take a look. Well, it's not appendicitis. Aggravated gastritis, most likely. Uh-huh. Kat, if I were you, I would send her to a health resort immediately, if possible. Of course. I don't want to go there. You should. Ramashka is the best one, the resort. There, uh. she'll get treatment for her stomach and nerves. Mm-hmm. I'll write a prescription for her now. However, they don't have these pills everywhere. I'll leave you mine. Take two at once. Mm -hmm. Will they make me sleepy? They sure will. They are the best sleeping pills. Mm -hmm. Well, get better. And don't be sad. Kat, you don't look so good. You know, you should take a couple yourself. I don't have time to sleep, dear Zoya. Work as a circus. Mm -hmm. Well, come see me out.
Keep the pills with you. Hello? Hey, so why aren't you at work? I'm not coming in today. Uh-huh. Are you sick? Golly and I broke up. When did this happen? It doesn't matter. Listen, I obviously feel for you, but what should I tell the boss? Whatever you want to. Well, fine. Let's say you have food poisoning. Say I'm dead. Hey! How are you feeling? I'm fine. Look, I only came to give you a little first aid kit, so to speak. Why so early? To relieve the stress, yeah. Start pouring. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Coffee and Sveta. Here, Svetta left a key to the safe and a letter of resignation. When did she write it? In the morning? Yes. Does she not understand that I can make her work till the end of the month? Does she not? I don't know. Go now. Hello. Where's Yura? You haven't heard? No. What happened? Well, Galia and him split. Petya told me. Wow. You know why? Well, I have no idea. Well, now, your shares have grown dramatically. What happened? Come on, tell me. Drop it, okay? Lovica. Yes, and who is this? This is Galia, Yura's wife. Uh, well, Yura didn't come into work today. Yes. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Vika, tell me the truth. Are you seeing Yura? I need to know. Yes. Sorry. Thank you for your honesty. Yeah? Pills are not an option. My head is so heavy. We should solve problems and not sleep on them. What's up? I called Vika. Who? Vika. The one in the photos. Why? To find out if it's true or not. And? It's true. You know what? I never doubted that. Bastard. Ugh. 
What a bastard! Listen, don't you dare cry for him. You must be strong. We'll avenge you. I think if you start dating, it'll feel better. There's no one, and I don't want to. Well, I'll arrange it. Don't worry. <laughs> Mom, just don't call Nikolai, please. No, we're not calling Nikolai. I think we'll take another route. <laughs> Good afternoon. Are you meeting someone? Good afternoon, yes. Right this way, please. Ekaterina, hello. Right this way. Hello. Please, sit down. Thank you. Here you go. No, I'll have tea. Oh, and you, Miss Jasmine? Thank you, my dear. Nothing for me. So your office is right here in the restaurant, then? <laughs> This is normally where I see all of my clients. I don't need an office for what I do. Why would a matchmaker need an office, right? Ekaterina, please tell me a little bit about yourself. To begin with, why don't you tell me how you differ from an agency? What guarantees do you have that your candidates are not from a dating site? I want to know what I'm paying for. Well, dating sites are for people who are addicted to dating around. There's a very small percentage of people there who are truly ready to settle down. And a marriage agency is just mass production. I work individually. And that's why, Ekaterina, my dear, I must know everything about you to understand who will suit you. No one will suit me. This is for my daughter, and I know what's best for her. Behind me, you see a large sports arena, Lou Sneaky. To your left is the business center, Moscow City. If you get a chance, I recommend coming here at night. Moscow at night is absolutely stunning. Now you all have some time for photos. Our bus is going to be here in 20 minutes. So what are you doing here? I wanted to ask. What? What kind of person would start following someone for absolutely no reason? What kind of people are you? So it's our fault? We messed up with your double life? I'm not leading a double life. Those photos are a lie. Vika simply walked cutie. You're a traitor. That's who you are. God, yeah, I don't know. What the hell? How about we call Vika? We can ask her. She hasn't told you yet? Hasn't she told me what? That I called her. And she said that you're lovers. Ah, uh, I get it. You and Kat Voss found a reason to get rid of me. What? Got tired of a shared flat? What we had wasn't good enough for you. It's not about that. Well, and you're what? You're predators. The two of you are ready to slander anyone. Even Vika, who has nothing to do with you. You're both predators. So go to your Vika, you traitor. Well, I will. I will happily go anywhere as long as your family is not there. Kirill. Huh? And this is Constantine. See? Nikolai. I made appointments with all of them already. Did they show them my photos? Of course. This one is cute, no? Uh, this is very weird. Matchmaking in this age. Listen. Well, you want him to hurt, don't you? Yes. Well? He called me a predator. Who, Yura? Uh-huh. Did you see him? Yes, he came to my tour. And? Kicked him out. Well done. Kaya, the first candidate is coming. I'll go now. I feel anxious. Don't worry, be strong. The main thing, remember, revenge. I... I'm going, go.
Kalia. I'm here. Sorry that I didn't call. Did something happen? Well, my laptop has really been on its last legs. At first I thought I should take it to a shop, but then I thought I should ask you instead. But my phone is dead. Yes, I did promise. Sorry, I completely forgot. Come on in. Let's see what we have here. Oh, your hard drive is completely full. Well, my whole life is on there. Well, you should archive all this. Download to an external hard drive. Will you show me how? Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> well, it might be easy for you, but for me... Where's Cutie? Did Galia take her? Oh, Yura, Yura. I'm so sorry this happened. Hey, do you know? I have been through the mill myself. Galia. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I just wanted to tell you that my intentions are quite serious. Uh -huh. oh, unfortunately, I can't say the same yet. Well, listen, Galia. What if we go for a week to Sardina, huh? Do you have a visa? Yes, but I think planning a couple's getaway is a bit premature. Well, we'll just spend some more time together, get to know each other. We could even rent a yacht. Oh. Yes. I'll consider your proposal, but let's talk on the phone first. It's just unfortunately I'm in a hurry. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're really something. We haven't even gotten to the dessert yet. Excuse me. I can appreciate your desire to marry and settle down as soon as possible, but this is the wrong way. Listen, who are you? Who? Me? I'm her mother, and who is this? Uh, uh, me? Shame on you and I. I'm a middle-aged woman and I have never used Photoshop so liberally. With your appearance, you should consider looking for a match in a different weight and age category. Pass that on to Madam Jasmine. Okay. Have a nice day. Uh, goodbye. I I'm, I'm really sorry. Goodbye. Uh, all the best. Uh, goodbye. We'll get the check uh, ourselves. Uh, thank you very much. I even feel sorry for oh, him. Catch up. Comfort him. Mom. Mom what? It's fine. That's okay. Better luck next time. Let the first one be the last one. Let's go home. Well, okay. How about we just go home and cry our eyes out, while Yura's running around and having fun with his Vika. Shall we? This is me in Turkey with frogs. <laughs> this is the beach. By the way, this is Turkey too, at the seaside. <laughs> it's me on the beach. <laughs> oh, and this is the tour. Well, you need to delete something to make space. Otherwise, here, it'll here. always be full. Look, 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 you will die. Uh, cool. Very cool. Where did you learn to dance like this? <laughs> Didn't you know? I danced for many years. Salsa, rumba, mamba, flamenco. <laughs> I've done a little pole dancing. Is that on a pole? Well, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. It's very good for staying in shape. seeing Constantine, a serious man, a lawyer. I can see, of course, why a woman can't find a man. We do live in a patriarchal society. But why would a man turn to a matchmaker? Maybe no time. And again, where do people meet now? And once you've met, now what? And then nothing. Nice, isn't he? Isn't that him? Where? No. Oh, 
yes, that's him. It's just that this photo is from 10 years ago. Mom, please excuse me, but I'm leaving. Galia. Loser. <sighs> Not 10 years ago, more like 20 years ago. Bad girl. <laughs> You're a hooligan. <laughs> I'll tell Jasmine about this, you know. Tell her what? <laughs> Hooligan. Submitted a photo of yourself taken when you were younger, didn't you? <laughs> well, that's okay. Actually, that's even intriguing. What's so intriguing, mister? Not a fresh rose, by any means. But in your prime, my lady, yes, you are. I may not be a fresh rose, but I have more than enough thorns to scratch the faces of idiots like you. Go ahead and tell that to Miss Jasmine, you creep. Still there? Where else would she be? I feel so bad for Galia. She took the dog with her, all because of this. Listen, I'll go kick her out right now. Sit your ass down. Why? We're neighbors. Did she ask our permission to be here? Quit it. They know what to do. You're as an idiot, too. Why did you let her in? Listen, Vika. Shh. Don't say anything. Just relax. I'm sorry. I... I can't. You better leave. Why? Because of her? Yes. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. So why did you let me stay, Yura? Uh, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Miss Jasmine, the intermediary, yes. No, no. Oh, no, thank you. We were terrified to see the third candidate. No, 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 thank you, but we don't need any more. You know, Miss Jasmine, I have only one more question for you. Have you seen what your business is selling? Ah, you have. What? <laughs> ah, so it's my fault for not telling you the desired weight and height. Hey, do you know what that's called? A shakedown. You want me to spell it out for you? You're a scam artist! What a pest. How did I go for it? Well, it's not her fault. Mm-hmm. They just weren't my type. Galia. Mm-hmm. What again? Mm-hmm. You know what, Galia? You are going away to that resort and that is final. This Yura isn't worth damaging your health. Good evening, Zoya. Yes, hello, yes. Well, of course, yes. Again, yes. We need the resort. Ah, uh-huh. I see, yes. Now, take this here. Here. You should take it, Dr. Zoya said. Do it, Galia. She'll call that Ramashka, and I'll take you there tomorrow. Though... Though, um... You know, you should ask Max. Let him take you. Why don't you just call him from your phone? Well, that's not right. You know what's not right? Well, he won't say no to you. Just call. Hey. 
Hello. Hello, Max. Hello. Go get in the car. Thank you for helping us out. You're welcome. I just have so much to do. Sveta resigned. Well, you know, of course you do. You probably even know where she went to. To Rogulina, maybe. She's at the hospital, Kat, with her husband. Barely found the money for the surgery. After you fired her. Didn't pay a commission. There. Vika, tell me, how are things with Yura? They're not. He can't forget his precious Galia. Idiot. Yura! Can I have a minute with you, please? You're 20 minutes late again. And yesterday, coming back from lunch, you were late 15 minutes. So what? So I'll have to file a report to management about all of your reoccurring tardies. That's what. Report about this too. I should have done this a long time ago. Thank you, Vika. All right, bye everyone. Have you lost it? Why are you pretending to be a boss? That's all right. I'm office manager. It's my job, you know. In fact, how much longer can I cover for him? Let him go to his Galia. Only she'll never forgive him. Why? Oh, well, maybe it's because I told her that her precious Yura and I have always been secret lovers. Just don't tell anyone, okay? A bitch. Galia, so you're finally here. Yes? Dr. Zoya gave me a call. So I'm aware of your situation. Well, let's do a full medical checkup, okay? Doctor... Just Dimitri. Very nice to meet you, Dimitri. Tell me, do I have to do a gastroscopy? Well, of course you do. But don't worry about that. I'll refer you to the best specialist that we have here. Dr. Zoya told me you had a nervous breakdown. Well, yes, something like that. Well, in fact, it's quite normal. A typical case for a capital resident. Yes, mm. by the way, have you eaten today? No, because Soya told me not to. Well, that is perfectly fine. A nurse will come and take you to do the procedure. Everything will be fine. Hello, Mom. They're going to do a gastroscopy. Well, good. What's good about that? Well, at least we'll know what's going on. You have a visitor. Who? I don't know. He said it's personal. Let him in. Sweetheart, I love you. Go ahead and don't be worried. Everything will be fine. Okay. I also need to go. So, shall we? Ekaterina, listen. I need to talk to Galia. It's very important. Excuse me, and you are? You don't recognize me? No. Well, I'm Petya, and I was the best man at Galia's wedding. Ah, uh, Petya. Well, I'm sorry. What do you want to tell my daughter? 
Vika lied to Galia that she and Yura were involved. She just admitted it herself. And you want me to tell Galia this? I can tell her myself, but I don't have her new phone number. Did Yura send you? No. So you're not going to give me her number? Hold on. Galia is not well. She's at a health resort, undergoing a course of treatment. I don't want to worry her. I'll tell her everything you said, and if she wants to, she can call Yura. Well, thank you. Goodbye. 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 Take care. Did you forget something? Tell me, miss. What's your name? Anya. What's the matter? I'm Petya. I'm a friend of Galia's husband. Uh, Katrina's daughter. Anya, you're a secretary. You know everything about everyone. Yes, I suppose. Tell me, what health resort is Galia at? And why should I tell you this? Because your boss wouldn't tell me that. It's called Romashka, not far from here. Anya, I knew that I could trust you. Tell me, uh, what are you doing this evening? You busy? Do you want to get something else out of me? No. I'm asking you out on a date. You know, I don't date my coworkers on principle. Well, I think you're a bit older. What a strange thing to say to the girl you're asking out on a well, date. Well, what's wrong with that? You're the one who started the topic of peers. Anya, well, what do you say? Maybe a movie? Intensive care. Authorized personnel only. Hello there. Hello. Let's sit down. How was Igor? How did it go? The surgery was successful. He just needs time to recover. A long time. Well, thank God it worked. How are you? Tired. I'm sorry, Sveta. I didn't know anything. Do you need any help? Thanks so much. We're okay now. Your commission. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself that time. Thank you. Would you give it to Max for me? He let me the whole amount for the surgery. I can't. We're not talking. Oh. Come on. Why do you always want to seem tougher than you actually are? Life is so short. People who are made for each other should be together. Don't you get it? Yes, I do. I do. But it's not easy. I'm going to go. Yura, you have a visitor. Some guy. He can come in. I'm already in. Dear God. You're going to try to convince me to take my notice back? No. It wasn't approved. How so? Like that. When you left, all hell broke loose. 
The management was sending messages, telegrams, requests, but you're not there. Well, the boss himself came down to see exactly what was going on there. So Vika, of course, gave him your letter. Listen, he read it and started yelling, why? In short, Vika let it slip that she reprimanded you, and you yelled at her and handed in the notice. Why are you telling me all this? Vika was fired. What for? For abuse of right. And for stupidity, of course. So they want you back. Hold on, that's stupid. What, no one stood up for? For her? Yes. Okay, listen. Do you even know what she did? Do you know what Galia called her? Galia? Yes, Galia. Asked her whether it was true that you and Vika were involved. And Yura, she said it was true. That doesn't change anything. Galia believed her. Not me. That's the problem. Well, I see how it is. Listen, do you think you can help me out? Can you go to the resort, Ramashka? See, I promised to step in for the systems administrator there for the weekend, but I actually met someone. <laughs> uh-huh, congratulations. Her name is Anya. Well, I'll introduce you later. Fine then. Give me the address of this resort. Hello. Hello. Where's your system administrator? What? The ones that work with the internet? Down the corridor to the left. Ah, thank you. Hi, Galia. Yes, I'm listening. Well, your tests are normal. Gastropathy is good, too. Well, of course, we'll wait for the biopsy, but I'm sure there's nothing wrong there either. So for now, do everything as prescribed. Any questions? No questions. Well, that's great. Excuse me, Dimitri. I do have a couple of questions. Tell me, you have such a beautiful gym. Can I work out? Well, if there's no ulcer, then of course, but in moderation. Do you work out? <laughs> no, I don't have time. Why not? You're such an interesting man. You should take care of yourself. Do some ab exercises. Do you play tennis, by chance? N no. I'll train you. Petya. What's going on here? I just saw Galia, and she went past me with some other guy. No, I don't want to make up with her. I don't even want to talk to her. Petya, why did you do this? Do you even understand that if Ekaterina sees me here, I'll be dead? How did you get here? Hello? Sveta asked me to give you the money. Hello? How did you find me? Well, all the time that we've spent together, it's not just you who pays attention. How's Galia? All right. The tests are good. Well, let's hope she'll be fine. Say hi to her. Of course. Max, listen to me. Just don't interrupt, okay? Max? Yes, I know I have a bad temper. I suffer from it myself. I'll yell at someone, then I can't sleep all night. I'm just not used to trusting people. It's always been like that. 
Why should you do that at all? Well, it's easier. When you build a life all by yourself, when you bite into each step with your teeth, you can't seem weak. They'll push you, betray you. So when I built this whole fortress, the bricks started falling. Gaia got married. Then you, Sveta. We didn't betray you. Yes, I know. Well, well, without Galia or that weirdo Yura, without Sveta, without you, even without that dog with its stupid name, I feel lonely. That's great. I'm in the same row with the dog. Lucky me. Max. Mm. Please come back. Forgive me and come back. I feel lost without you. <sighs> I think it's biting. A tiny catch, but still nice. Max. I'll come back on one condition only. Yes. I'll do anything. Well, almost anything. I want you to marry me. Either that, or no deal. Your pills? Uh, thank you. What are you doing here? I only came in here to tell you not to imagine that I came here for you. You have pet you to thank for that. I could care less why you're here. I don't care about you. Well, me neither. Yes, then why did you come here? I told you the pet you arranged all this. You're a liar. You're a pathological liar. What, do you know who you yes, are? Yes, tell me who am I? An idiot. What? Yes. Have you lost your mind, Calm down, Skunk? calm down. Are you Bastard nuts or what? Bastard creep came here to insult Stop. me. Stop. Bastard. Pardon me. Why the flowers? <laughs> I don't, don't know. Don't lie. He's courting you. I saw you together. You shouldn't care about that. How so? Because I can hear my mother, Yura. Yura. Where? <gasps> oh, come on. <gasps> the closet. Into the closet. The closet. Hello. Well, hello there. How are you? I'm all right. How's Cutie? Cutie? She's great. Uh -huh. She went fishing. Gaia, I need to talk to you about something. It's important. Did something happen? No. Yes. Even two things. Well, tell me then. We were wrong. We should have given Yura a chance and listened to him. What do you mean? Vika lied to you. There's nothing between her and Yura. There. What did I tell you, Galia? What is happening? Mom, this is Yura. Yes, I see it's Yura. What is he doing here? Ekaterina, Mom. do me a favor and tell me one thing. Why did you organize this surveillance in the first place? You know what? You're no bargain either. You know, coming home in lipstick, here, here. All right, but I didn't ask her to kiss me, okay? Well, of course she attacked you and kissed you, right? Okay, enough, that's enough. You're a mom. Well, really, enough already. Well, okay. If it makes you feel better, I might have been wrong. Possibly. Say what? You know, I think I misheard you. Can you say that one more time? I was mistaken. I'm sorry. 
All right, I'll go. Mom, wait. You said you had two things. What's the second one? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, come here. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Come on. Oh, Sveta is here. Give me a cup. Did you get a glass? Come here. Congratulations. Prosperous. Max. Champagne. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sveta. How is he? He's okay. He's being discharged tomorrow. I'm glad. Really glad. Very glad. Will you come back? Maybe. Sveta, please do. Everything will be different, I promise. Sveta. Hmm? Ekaterina, champagne. Yes, coming. Come on. Oh, you hold this. Thank you. Girl, why did you pour so early? Look at that. Well, I didn't know you'd leave. Oh, we doing another joke? Good. Oh, yeah. You want some? Yeah, please. No. Well, it's oh, no, flat. No, no. Yeah, come here. Why are you always defending him? Kiss her. 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 Kiss